The Salesforce Certified Associate is a brand new entry-level certification aimed at trailblazers with zero to six months of Salesforce experience. This new type of certification removes the emphasis on hands-on practical expertise and instead validates and empowers those with foundational Salesforce knowledge. This could include understanding what a customer relationship management platform is for and what business needs it solves. It also includes how the Salesforce product suite can be used to transform and automate business teams and processes. If you're trying to figure out if a Salesforce career is for you, or you're at the beginning of your journey with Salesforce and are still trying to get your head around how everything fits together, then this certification is for you. I'm Christine Marshall, Salesforce Evangelist at Salesforce Ben. Our mission is to help you advance your career. So whether you're just starting out or have a few years under your belt, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our extensive resources on salesforceben.com. Without further delay, let's take a look at what you need to know to pass the Salesforce Certified Associate Exam. First things first, let's go over the basics of the exam. It consists of 40 multiple choice, multiple select questions, and you'll have 70 minutes to complete it. The passing score is 62% and the exam costs $75 to take, but retakes are free. The exam can be taken online or at a testing center, and there are no prerequisites to take it. Don't forget to check out the official exam guide on Trailhead. So who's the ideal candidate? Well, the Salesforce Certified Associate is for anyone with zero to six months of Salesforce experience. According to Salesforce, you do not need any practical or technical expertise. That's right, this certification is for you, even if you have no existing experience. It's the ideal exam to take before the Salesforce Administrator, but it's not a prerequisite. The certification is designed to prepare you for a career in Salesforce by validating foundational knowledge, including what Salesforce is, what it does, and how the platform solves business needs. The exam is split into four topics, Salesforce ecosystem, navigation, data model, and reports and dashboards. Let's take a look in more depth at what you can expect in each topic. First up, it's the Salesforce ecosystem at a whopping 32%. This is the largest section with the highest weighting on the exam and you'll be tested on your knowledge of the Salesforce ecosystem, including resources to learn and apply Salesforce learnings. These could include Trailhead, Trailhead Playgrounds, Developer Orgs, the Trailblazer community, community groups or Salesforce help. You'll need to be familiar with the Salesforce product suite and when a particular product or cloud is required. Swat up on use cases for Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, Health Cloud, Experience Cloud, Nonprofit Cloud and CRM Analytics. You'll need to understand how companies use Salesforce and what Customer 360 is. It's also important to understand what customer relationship management platforms do and the business needs they solve. Get familiar with Salesforce architecture and the concept of multi-tenancy platforms. And finally, career paths and what specific roles do, including administrators, developers, and business analysts. Topic number two is navigation with 28%. This scenario-based section will test your understanding of how and where to find information such as licenses, company information, and org settings. It may also ask about list views, including Kanban use cases, search, and personalization features such as tabs, language, and time zones. In addition to being familiar with where you would make changes at a more global level, you should also be able to identify where end users can make changes, such as adding a phone number, changing their default locale, resetting their password, or amending their app navigation, such as tabs. You'll be expected to know about the app exchange, user management, and where basic customization takes place in setup. Topic number three is data model with 25%. In this section, you'll demonstrate your understanding of Salesforce architecture, standard objects, and their relationships. You should be comfortable with accounts, contacts, leads, opportunities, and cases. Based on a scenario, you'll identify how visibility is being controlled, so you'll need to understand features including roles, the role hierarchy, profiles, permission sets, record types, page layouts, and field visibility. You should also be familiar with how to ensure data integrity. For example, default field values, required fields, and validation rules. Last, but certainly not least, we have reports and dashboards with 15%. To ace this section, get hands-on with reports, dashboards, and their features. For reports, pay special attention to report formats such as tabular, summary, matrix, and joined. You'll need to understand when to create and use custom report types. 
types, and then features such as bucket fields, conditional formatting, report formulas, and report limitations. Finally, swat up on report subscriptions. For dashboards, make sure to understand components, dashboard filters, and subscriptions. Hopefully, this video has given you an insight on what you need to do to prepare to ace the Salesforce Certified Associate Exam. Check out our full study guide and tips, which contains additional useful resources. You'll find the link in the video description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content from Salesforce Ben.